ladies and gentlemen, Boston Market, 27 of them in the state of New Jersey have been ordered to stop working. So this is what happened. And, you know, I'm starting to hear things like this, especially in fast food more and more. They shut down 27 Boston markets in the state of New Jersey for worker violations. Apparently, 27 of these stores were shut down due to uh, also health violations as well. The locations, they failed to pay their workers. Can you imagine that? You're working for Boston Market and they won't even pay you. And they refuse to pay sick leave. That's why they were shut down in New Jersey. Mm -mm -mm. These people sure hate to pay folks. They, they They want slavery back so bad. You're supposed to get up and go to Boston Market as a worker and work for free. You're not supposed to get paid. It's just unbelievable. So I don't think this is one of these things that just happen immediately. I think it took a while for them to build up to this point and make the decision to close 27 Boston market chains in the state of New Jersey. They said that they owe over $600,000 in back wages to their workers. So there's worker rights violations, there's health violations. Oh man, this is just a mess. It goes back to what I told y'all before, they can't run anything without corrupting it. So in all, the chain is facing more than $2.5 million in fees and penalties. And if you go to any of their locations, they have these red signs up, stop work orders were issued, and it gives all of the addresses, which is way too long of a list for me to go down. But ladies and gentlemen, the state claims that the restaurant owed all this back pay to hundreds of workers. Boston Market was accused by the Labor Department for failing to pay minimum wage and provide sick leave to more than 300 employees. The franchise was also slapped with nearly 2.6 million in penalties moved by the state's Labor Commission, which was meant to reinforce minimum wage rules and remind employers that workers are entitled to 40 hours of sick leave over the course of a year, and they were failing to do that. So I guess you were expected not to get paid and not to ever be out on sick leave. Anytime you have a situation where an employer, whether it be a small mom and pop, on Main Street or a huge corporation, Behemoth, on Wall Street, they need to pay their workers what they're due, said New Jersey uh, Department of Labor Commission, Robert Angelo, the locations impacted by the closing stretch from Hackensack, Lodi, and Mawa to Mount Holly and Vineland. Those are different towns in New Jersey. It's not totally uncharted territory for Boston Market. The chain has been struggling facing lawsuits across the country for millions of dollars of unpaid bills. And it has closed hundreds of locations over the past several years. If you're not doing right by the workers, not only are you hurting those workers and their families, Okay, y'all. So I think this is a shame. I really do. I feel sorry for those workers that did not get paid for their hard work. It is not easy working in fast food. So Boston Market does have the right to an appeal and a hearing, which will take place on August 23rd. 
the company did not immediately respond to a request for comment. You know what, when somebody works and they have children or they got a family to take care of, even if it's them, themselves, you know, it's a single person and they just want to work and take care of themselves. If they put in that work, they deserve to be paid. And y'all, Boston Market is not the only fast food joint I heard doing stuff like this. But it's the first one in a long time that New Jersey has taken a hard stand against. I had no idea this stuff was going on around here. I really didn't. And 27 locations, they took them all down. So we'll see how they appeal it. They really need to pay people what's due. You know, a lot of our people, melanated people, worked in places like this. And I know there are the ones that didn't get paid, didn't get no sick leave. I know it had to be our people. So y'all, please tell me what you think about this story. I think Boston Market, man, I haven't been in a Boston Market in a physical store, I think since early 2000s. I really, I really have never been big on going there. So I would say it was probably around 2004, 2005. I haven't been in one since. Mm -mm -mm. But I think what they did is rotten and it's a shame. I feel for those workers. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.